All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Yahweh Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they eagerly call Jesus Christ. Now we watching Yahweh expose these false prophets and these individuals that come against the truth. You see, because we know the true worshipers worship in spirit and in truth. And see, this uh, Pastor Dow, he wants to save the heathen and these Edomites. He wants to say that the so-called white man ain't Esau. You see, and the Lord lets you build up and fill up that cup of wickedness and lies, and then he pour it on your head with some boric acid in it to oil your skin off of your flesh. Because you thinking that you finna outdo the truth and make a covenant with the heathen. Now our people's always did this. We've always had traitors and uh, wicked men that went and backstabbed us as a nation. When it comes to the, the Negroes trying to get off the plantation and you got a coon, uh, boot-licking Negro that'll go and tell Massa they trying to get away. And you or you got a Native American uh, lookout. Uh, uh, he go and tell the, the, the army of the Edomites, uh, here go the, my peoples went that way. They going that way. See, he trying to be a scout for the so-called white man and sell out for his own people. Just for some for some trickets and 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 uh, to be on in the safe zone. You got the same thing with the other tribe. They click up with the so-called white man and trade out on their people. A uh, economic a uh, hitman come and, and offer them some kind of money and say, well, we got, we'll give you this kind of money if you give us access to the resources and you tell us where everything is in the kingdom. See, that's why we went into slavery the first time because King Hezekiah, uh, Hez uh, Zedekiah, I think, he gonna tell these Hamite Africans and bring them into the temple and show them all the gold that the Lord had. So the Lord got angry and said, you want to show them everything, I'm going to let them come in here and take everything you got and throw your behind in the slave and poke your eyeballs out and make you walk around barefooted with chains on. You see, this is the God that you're dealing with when you want to trade out on your people for the heathen. It's not going to happen, man. And this is why he getting caught up in all this adultery. Uh, he's stealing men's wives. He got women he auctioning off to these people that want to join his uh church these coons that want to be able to accept the fact that they Israelites but still love the so-called white man and bootlick and, and they scared of their slave master scared to be hated by their slave master so when you're going to uh the scriptures let's see here uh, Proverbs, this lets you know that Negroes are going to try this. I think it's, it's 20, 20 something. Let me see if it's 21. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to search for this one because it always slipped my. It talks about joining on to the wicked. Let's see here. Okay, here it is. Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Why? Because you're going to have these Israelites try to join hand in hand with the so called white man. They're going to try to join hand in hand with their oppressor. 
and the oppressor going to think he going to get away. See, joining to their Christian church, we going to be Christians with the so-called white man, and the Lord going to forgive them. He going to let them skip past the punishment of their nation. We didn't get to skip past our punishment, but he going to get this. Master going to get to skip past his punishment. See, and then when you go into Isaiah, what is it, 28, uh, I think it's 28, 15. It, it says, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. Now, when you go into Habakkuk 2 and 5, it said, these Edomites represent death. Is as death and is as hell. It says, and with hell are we at agreement. See, that was the Native Americans want to make an agreement with these heathen and, and wind up getting slaughtered. See, it says, when the over scourging, overflowing of scourge shall pass through, it shall not come upon us. See, when, when these Edomites go to killing everybody, he gonna spare us. See, we not, we, he ain't going to do nothing to us because we done made a covenant with him. See, they're really scared of the, the devil. See, this is why they're joining on to him and making a covenant with him. Look at verse 18. It says, Your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. So it ain't going to help them to join on to their enemy. It's just going to uh, cause them to be destroyed. Uh, this is about Babylon, America, uh, Isaiah 13. It says, uh, to get right to the point, 15, it says, Everyone that is found through found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Unto who? The Babylonian. See, it says, the burden of Babylon. See, you join unto these Babylonians who are Edomites, See, the so-called white man, and you thinking that you're going to get away because everybody's going to go into their own people. They're not going to be Edomites and Israelites hanging together. No. They say every man shall turn to his own people. This is what the world and, and what the, 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 the drama is going to be about in these last days. Not going to be about you being a Christian and you talking about a name. They don't care what name you talking about, man. It's going to be about your nationality. That's what it's going to, it's going to be about because they hate Israelites. And they know that they Edomites. Now, are you going to, um, what is Maccabees 1 and uh, 11? It says, In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. This is what they're trying to do. And this is what he's doing in that church. Lining people up, talking about um, the slave was sleeping with the slave master. The slave master was sleeping with his slaves and having children. And these Negroes in America don't know if they Israelites or not because they could be the slave master children. You see, trying to disannul the bloodline and say it's all about your faith and being a Christian. It ain't got nothing to do about who you is because nobody know who they are. See, this is the, the crap he pushing. Esau, Japheth is, he, Japheth is the white man, not Esau. But we seeing that he's falling fast and he's going to fall even faster right along with everybody that was going along with his doctrine. See, a lot of the people that's going against him, they was going, going along with the doctrine. Now that they finding out that he's a murderer and he ready to steal people's uh, whole families. <clears throat> fair use, fair use. Man, um, it, it, it's crazy because they tell you that Esau is the white man. That's how nonsense it is. But when you look up the word for white, in the scriptures of Hebrew, is the word Laban, Laban. So Laban is not Adeline, and Adeline is not Laban. Red is not white, and white is not red in the contents of what the Bible says. It's because these people have a personal vendetta to deceive. I'm convinced of that. And then you... Now, this man say, 
we got a personal vendetta to the seed because the Bible don't say that Esau was white. First of all, they named themselves white in 1681. When you look at them, they do not look white. See, they got leprosy of the skin, albinism, and they don't look white. They look red. When they come out as a baby, they are red. They are not white when they come out as a baby. They're not pale white when they come out. You can see the blood flowing through their skin, and they look like a red cherry when they come out as a baby. But he is the one that's trying to deceive because he done made a covenant with these people to deceive the children of Israel, just like the rest of these wicked pastors. You see, because he just want to get rich and, and and don't have to work a job, see. Live out in the, in the woods somewhere and, and, and pimp the people for their money. Racism, and they use discord, and they use the hurts and the pains of our plight. Um, you know, and what the Europeans have done to our people. Um, and they use that pain to draw people. They use that pain to influence people. Um, and, of course, you know, somebody got to be the devil. And I often say if the white man is the devil, then the Bible teaches you that you need to cast him out. And how are they doing with that? Because, I mean, after all, Yahshua, Jesus Christ says, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, and cast out devils. So I'm just trying to show you how nonsensical all these perspectives and point of view is. They just simply don't make any sense. Now, what they do is they dominate people who think that they know a few scriptures because you come out of Christianity and you know John 3, 16. You're in no position to try to fight them in their doctrine, all right? You see, now he contradict himself because I thought we didn't, we couldn't cast out these Edomites. I thought we couldn't cast out the so-called white men, but we cast them out every time. That's why you come out your mouth and say, oh, don't try to go into the Bible with them. Because if you're going to the Bible with them, because you think you know a scripture, John 3, 16, you're not equipped to go into the Bible. Well, what, what, now you're contradicting yourself. We can cast them out or not. See, is we casting them out or not? But let's get what the scriptures say real quick. Because these, these people are sold out, and now they're getting exposed. Look at... um. Luke, is it 17 and 21? 17 and 15. Nope. Uh, let's see. Uh, 21 and 15, Salakia. <clears throat> it says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. See, they can't gainsay nor resist what we're saying. That's why you got to inform them and advise them not to come against the Israelites. See, because if they could, you would be advising them to go to this scripture, to go to that scripture. No, you ain't, you ain't trying to bring up a scripture. You talking about don't even try it. You're not equipped to go against these people because you know that they they telling a bold faith lie and you just want to be they um hit hit man the man that's setting traps for the children of Israel. Now you're going to uh, what is it uh, Isaiah 56 and 10 I think yeah he said his watchmen are blind they are all ignorant. They are dumb dogs. See, they they ignorant because you should know that you're contradicting yourself. They say they are dumb dogs that cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. See, they just want some money, which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. They look to their own way, everyone for his gain and for his quarter. See, that's why he went and stole that man wife and the man Turin, uh, and he trying to demonize the man. See, because he just greedy. See, you got wives already, and you want to steal somebody else's wife. That's why the Lord exposing his behind. Let's see here. Uh, uh, 
Where is it? It's Michael 3 and 11. It said, the heads judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. See, they just want money, and let's stay, just, just run our mouth on the internet, and we ain't going to go out to the byway, highways and byways and bid them to the marriage. See, you'll never see them jokers preaching. Them in a GOCC. Who trying to save the so-called white man and say you can come to our church and, and you can be delivered if you come to our church. See, they said, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None, none evil can come upon us. See, they just because the Lord ain't punished they behind. See, because He reserving them for that fire, that lake of fire. They thinking they done got away. What's that? Uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 8 and 11. It said, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. See, they ain't got punished for trying to tell lies and say that these people can be saved and they can come join our church and I marry uh, the Israelite daughters unto them and vice versa. See, they can they can come in and, and, and get the covenant that was given to the children of Israel. They ain't going to get punished with their nation because God promised them that they would get punished in uh, Jeremiah 25. He promised all nations to get the, the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and 68. You would be on auction block sold to another nation and you would be ruled over by your enemies, people that hate your behind. See, they're going to have to serve that punishment right along with all the rest of the heathen. But no, he's telling them they can come into the church and, and God love everybody and you just got to fight, come join our church and, and then God's going to accept you. A bold faced liar and God exposing these dragons. And I'm gonna leave it down. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim and Kakadas, the one to the elders pushing the truth, peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.